This StarCast show, just like all of our StarCast shows, are available at adfreeshows.com. Since WCW went down and there has always been some other wrestling organization to try, Impact, Ring of Honor, MLW, what is going to make AEW stick? What is going to make AEW if you want to call it a wrestling war, you can call it a wrestling war. I'm not so sure. I know there's been a war for talent. I get that. What is going to make us different? There was a war. Else? There was a war over Tony Schiavone. That's yes, for sure. I know. You can tell. Where's Bruce? Is Bruce Pritchard here? No, Bruce is not here. Where's he? I'm looking right at you, Bruce. I I won that one, buddy. Uh, yeah. I like Bruce though. I do too. Bruce is one of my favorites. He does the, those impressions and oh yeah, he's tremendously talented. They're very good. Yes, they are. But man. Just kind of brutal, though, especially if you're like the Dusty and the Cornette one. And the, I don't know how Connie does it, man, <laughs> over and over again. So what separates us? Yeah. Um, man, I don't, what do you guys think? What is it? <laughs> is it Tony? No. No, I'm telling you. I'm talking about in the ring. I know what the answer is. The answer is talent. Yeah. Right? I think, I think it's talent. Yeah. And I think the way that October 2nd and, you know, this pay-per-view, I think the way it's going to be presented – is presented as a sports product. I don't mean that it's not meant to be entertaining and there aren't narrative themes, but it's presented as a sports product like wrestling used to be presented. Right. And that's okay. We're, it's okay to turn the clock back. We have so much forward-thinking talent as it is to bring back some of that tradition and some of that long form and some of that just legit men and women fighting and the violence. And, and I was so excited, to, you know, that... We're not held to the standard of TV PG because wrestling can't be PG. Um, Absolutely. Right. So I, I just I think that sports centric approach. And I think if you're a fan of the elite the, or if you're a fan of the, the, any of the, the EVPs, you know, Matt, Nick or Kenny, everybody gets to bring their own thing. And some people are like, oh, well, <laughs> how are they going to get along? We get along just fine. What? We're, we're all respectful of what each other likes. Kenny has done this wonderful job providing the, the Joshi element. I don't know if we have a lot of fans of just Joshi Japanese women's wrestling. Man, I can tell you what. Riho and Shida, I don't want to follow that on Saturday. I mean, they, these are – he's provided this Joshi element that's just so strong. And, and, and Matt and Nick b b putting together the best tag team division they could possibly and really putting care in that. Uh, and everything that everything that's been just, I think you'll be, be able to see those flavors. Eric Bischoff um, told me before All In, he said, "Just give him a buffet." And I thought that's a real, that's a good way to put it, you know. Give him a buffet. There's something for everybody, and he was right. right. He was right about that. Yeah. Right. I haven't talked to him since, but he was right <laughs> about. That. Uh, and the idea is, you probably won't be talking to him in quite a while. Right? Right. It's been a minute, huh? Yeah. Wow. I definitely haven't talked to him in a while. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Jesus. So, oh. Yeah, it, it's, it's talent. And, and speaking of talent, Chris Jericho comes aboard. And that, that was, I don't know if you call it a big coup or a, a, it was just big to have him be there. I don't want to put this guy on the spot, but there's a younger AEW talent. He wears a, a scarf. He's, 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 my, he's my best friend. He's salt of the earth. But Chris, Chris Jericho shows up to Jacksonville, and it's a surprise. And this talent who I'm referring to sees Chris Jericho walk by, and just to literally see the... was... The indicator, like, man, Chris, you try to act like you're on someone's level. Not Chris Jericho's on another planet. Sure. And what he's done, I mean, he's the first unified champion. He's a bazillion things. He's also somebody who took things that shouldn't have worked, made them work, and made them so entertaining. And, yeah, Chris is a total dick, you know? <laughs> but he's a great upper echelon we could only hope to be level of pro wrestler that that guy is at and for him to put his faith in us right i think it shook the whole system sure 
that, oh, wow, he's, you know, it, that's a very smart individual. Right. And for him to put his faith in us meant, meant a lot. And every day since, it's been hell on earth. But he, um, it was a big move. Uh, I have another in, impromptu question here. Uh, how do you choose your best friends? So there's this weird consensus. So that little guy's a prick. I feel like I am on. Guys, MJF is a baby face, guys. I'm telling. I'm telling you, he's oh, super that's... sweet. He's a he's a he's just a sweetheart of a human being. We work out together. He's at the house all the time. We love we love MJF. I understand he's not. Super approachable, <laughs> but he's salt of the earth. And you've had problems with him, yeah, Jeff? No. Yes, Rosie O'Donnell, I want to be a pro wrestler one day. <laughs> the hell? Man, oh. I don't, you shouldn't hit a kid, but I would have hit that little son of a bitch that day. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I am. Uh, anyway, that's, that's another story. I, it, it says a lot about you. What type of person you are that you would be friends to this guy? I tried to get him to move to Atlanta, and really? I think I think he heard that and was like, "Oh, okay, I'm gonna be like in the office or something." Like I think he thought a bit differently, and then I told him why I needed him to move to Atlanta. When I'm done working and it's late at night, I play Halo, and we play System Link, old school. You got the yellow Ethernet deal, right? And I got a team, uh, my, my partner, his name is Vanilla Vance, and then I play QT Marshall and a guy named Charlie Ramon, who we call Clothesline Ramon, because he's been in wrestling school for like 10 years, and he only knows how to do a clothesline. Uh, <laughs> but Clothesline Ramon and QT are just fucking terrible at the game. So I thought Max can get in. And then it'll be three on two. So that was my whole reasoning behind getting him to move to Atlanta. And once I told him that, he, he didn't bite. He didn't bite. So we're going to have to sweeten the deal. Maybe he comes and does a few, few studio spots with us. You know what I'm saying? You'd be great in there together, right? Yeah. Yeah, two, two butts. Yeah. Two dudes just hanging out. Yeah. That'd be, <laughs> that'd be freaking cool. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um, speaking of QT... <laughs> yeah, speaking of QT, what a hard worker he is. Oh, right? he's something else, man. I don't know if you guys know, and he's probably uh, uh, taking an adult nap on a couch uh, backstage. Um, uh, QT Marshall was given the job of my assistant, and that instantly became associate producer, and he's continued to rise up and rise up. Almost everything you see with AEW, he has some hand in. That guy's working his ass off. So if you see QT, just right. tell him, tell me he did a good job because he's. You know, I don't put him over too hard, but yeah, he's doing a good job. He bother you? What's that? Did he get in? Is you got a problem with him too? No, I just I was saying. If you Are all my QT, friends like your enemies? No, just say. No, I just if you see QT, say you know, hair plugs do work. Uh, Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I only say that because he was backstage with me. He says, "Don't say anything about my hair. I'm really upset about Tony it." Tony, after dark, man. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> What about those hair lacquer billboards? Does it, any local Chicago, like, did Brian get his hair done? Is that what, does it look like it does on the billboards? Oh, good for him. Okay. Good for him, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.